Now, my wife comes from Memphis, Tennessee. In Memphis, Tennessee, they all speak like this, really warm, real friendly. Everybody's an aunt and an uncle, even though they're not really an aunt and uncle. It's Aunt Fred, Aunt Sonia, and Aunt Margaret, and Aunt Ethel, and Uncle Fred, and Uncle Sam, even though they're not real uncles and aunts. But because of endearment, we call them uncles and aunts. Everything's laid back in Memphis. Everyone talks like this. Everyone's warm and loving in Memphis. And things are informal in Memphis. So my wife serves soup at our home in a very informal, laid back manner. And this episode is called The Soup Bowl. Here's what she does. She takes a soup bowl like this. And she takes the soup, puts it in the soup bowl, and places it directly on the table. Now, I come from Montreal, Canada. Canada is a former colony of England, Great Britain, the Commonwealth, where things are done with the Queen's English. Things are done properly, with great etiquette and formality. And I grew up with soup being served like this. The soup was put in a soup bowl, and then my mother would put the soup bowl on a plate, like this, and then serve everyone soup in a soup bowl on a plate. Now, that's how I grew up. Now, it bothers me a lot when my wife serves soup just on a soup bowl directly on the table. So this past Friday night, it was getting to me. So I was going to say the following, but before I said it, I stopped. Here's what I was going to say. I said to myself, you know what? I'll tell my wife, dear, the soup bowl on the table directly is a bit laid back and informal. I like things more formal. So would you mind getting a plate and putting the soup bowl on a plate on the table? To which I imagine she would have said the following. Well, what's wrong with putting the soup bowl right on the table? We're just family around here and a couple of guests. What's the big deal? After all, it's more friendly to serve soup in a non-formal manner. And I think you're wrong. I think formality is not a good thing. I think we should just be laid back about it. And I would say, well, proper etiquette, dear, is serving soup on a plate like this. And she'd say, do you mean to tell me that I am not serving soup with proper etiquette? Are you probably telling me that I don't know how to serve soup? Well, I'm not exactly saying that, dear. I'm just saying that there are formal ways of doing things. So you're saying I don't know how to properly serve soup? I've been serving soup in our house for 26 years, and you're telling me I don't know how to serve soup. I don't know how to take care of our guests. No, dear, I didn't say that. I said you know how to take care of our guests, just that things are just a little more proper. Are you saying that I'm not proper? Are you saying to me that I don't know how to serve our family, I serve and entertain our guests? You're saying that I'm not a good hostess? No, I didn't say that. Well, that's what you are saying. Well, I didn't really say that, dear. I just said that sometimes things are a bit lax around here. Are you saying things are lax around here all the time? And I don't know how to take care of our family? Well, I do. I really feel you out. You do. But sometimes things are a bit, you know, lackadaisical around here and things don't get done. Are you saying to me that things don't get done around here and I don't know how to take care of our family? You see where this is going? You see how a small little argument about a soup bowl can turn into a major argument? In fact, we can end up not speaking for two or three days because... We ended up in a major blow up or argument, which started with a soup bowl. So I foresaw this type of difficulty, and I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to go there. I feel okay about myself. I feel like we have a good family. I'm a good person, a good father, a good husband. It doesn't reflect badly on me if we're serving our family and our guests on a soup with a soup bowl directly on the table. It doesn't make me look bad doesn't make me look like a bad host or they make my wife look like a bad hostess. It's just the way she does things. So I'm not going to take it personally. I'm going to have good self-esteem. I'm going to feel good about myself. And I'm going to say, you know what, dear? This soup tastes delicious. I can taste the love and the effort you put into serving this soup to us. And it's just amazing. Thank you so much. It's delicious. To which she said, thank you, dear. Thank you for appreciating the effort I go to help our family. And I turned a possible liability 
into an asset. I turned a possible blow-up argument from a little measly soople into a positive opportunity to make a positive connection with my wife. And we got closer because of it.